For aircraft passengers, the golden age of aviation might have been the 1950s and 60s, but for aircraft manufacturers and their suppliers, the new golden age is now. Air travel is burgeoning. Aircraft and engines are becoming more efficient and reliable, and airlines are buying them in greater numbers. Parts manufacturers willing to invest in the right technology, people and processes can find themselves working for some of the biggest and best known names in the sector. Take Connecticut-based Aerocision, for example. My name is Andrew Gibson. I'm Chief Executive Officer of Aerocision. Our company has been around for over 50 years. My partner and I took over three and a half years ago. And at the time, the industry started undergoing a tremendous metamorphosis and there was a huge amount of pressure for supplier rationalization by our customers. So we very quickly realized that transparency and very quick turnaround for NPI and outstanding metrics were going to be features of our business. So we've developed that as, a, as our business plan three and a half years ago and, and stuck to it ever since and always will. And a key element of that, of course, is the technology that we've been investing in, in addition to ERP and other systems. The equipment choice is critical to us. Currently, we have two machining centers, a vertical machining center and a lathe, a lathe center, both cells. We're turning and milling high nickel alloys, very close tolerances. We're working five days a week, eight hours a day, eight to ten hours a day. Um, we are also implementing an SBC program, statistical process control, so we can measure uh, the quality of our parts. Uh, the parts that we make here are, are very close tolerance uh, and uh, very, very difficult to make. We've owned Haas for uh, almost 10 years and our machinists uh, have come to respect it and like it very much. And we met a lot of the choices out in the market and very recently decided yet again on Haas because of the popularity here in our own company. Our tolerances are extraordinarily tight, so we just went with the group that we were very comfortable with. I joined the company uh, approximately seven months ago, and the, the Haas mills were already here, and the two small Haas lathes were already here. Um, recently, we purchased two of the ST30 uh, larger Haases, so we needed a, uh, some capacity. Um, and we purchased them with the quick set tool changers and some of the other some of the other bells and whistles that the, that the guys wanted and uh, and they're very, very happy with them. What they like about it the most is the controls. I like the ST lathes. Uh, I have the SL lathes, and uh, we had no problems with them for five years. We had them running two shifts every day for five years, not even a hiccup on them. So we went out and we got the STs. I was very really impressed with the STs because of the way the foundations are much more heavy duty. And, solid machine, it's, it's, much, it's, it's easy, but we are much more happy with the STs. We can't wait till we get an ST40. Our company right now is going through a growth mode, and we expect that our company sales will double within the next two and a half years, which means we'll be buying a lot more equipment, different types of equipment. And Haas seems to have a lot of choices in the mill category and the lathe category, and as we grow our business, we'll be uh, adding more Haases to our lives. Mm -hmm.